Labor Day also marks the unofficial start to the presidential campaign season, with many Republican candidates spending the holiday in New Hampshire. President Biden is on the road in Pennsylvania tackling concerns about his age ahead of a potential second term. President Joe Biden at an official White House event in Pennsylvania this Labor Day sounded at times like he was in a re-election campaign rally. The 80-year-old addressed concerns Someone about said, his age you know, without uh, even being Biden asked. The only thing that comes today is a little bit of wisdom. Biden also highlighted Look, economic gains on his watch, including more than 13 million jobs he's created, and contrasted his record with that of former President Donald Trump without ever naming him. When the last guy was here, you were shipping jobs to China. Despite his four criminal indictments, new Wall Street Journal polling finds 59% of Republican voters back Trump in his third White House bid. Meantime, secretaries of state in a number of states, including New Hampshire, Maine, Arizona, and Michigan, say they have started to take steps to prepare for challenges to Trump appearing on the ballot due to Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which renders an elected official ineligible to hold public office if they've engaged in an insurrection or rebellion against against the U.S. government. Other Republican candidates are also meeting voters face to face in New Hampshire as Trump remains notably absent. I'm standing here because I believe different times call for different leadership. Hey guys, good to see you guys. 38-year-old entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy sees a boost after his first Republican debate appearance where he held firm on his pledge to pardon Trump if he's elected and vote for him if he's the nominee. The second Republican debate is planned for later this month in California. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.